Hey, how's it going, my super friends? I am Emma Sebo. Thanks for watching the vid. In Dark Knight's Metal Number 3, the Flash was last seen in getting Superman through the portal to the Dark Multiverse. They wanted to rescue Batman and stop this full blown incursion into Earth Zero, which is Earth Prime. This issue of The Flash Number 33, Joshua Williamson not only walks the line between those events, he expands upon them, and also he manages to advance Scott Snyder metal story. I love this issue and it's a must get, a must read tie-in. A lot of people skip over these tie-ins because they are tie-ins, but this one is amazing dude. It's the first part of these Dark Knights versus the Justice League. This is the Bats Out of Hell storyline, this is the first part. Howard Porter, the artist, he got his turn, man. He got this opportunity to render some of the Dark Knight. We got to see focus on two of them. And he brought Greg Capullo's designs to life. He gave the character some exposure outside of the main series. Again, this metal tie-in is an important chapter in the overall storyline, so get it if you haven't. Starting off the issue, we get this super iconic, super familiar, really cool, energizing scene between Superman and the Flash. Racing! <laughs> However, this is not the typical, the normal race between these heroes. They're not going against each other, but they are racing together to save the life of their friend and possibly the world, man. It's a tense twist in this iconic sequence and it carries some darkness that's been so pervasive in metal. The narration by Williamson brings readers up to speed. Anyone can enjoy this issue, even if they're unfamiliar with what's been happening in the main story. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what happens when Superman crosses over to the dark multiverse. You have to read Metal Number 3 or watch my review. Williamson turns the attention to the remaining members of the Justice League and we get to see their quest for whatever traces of Anth Metal they can locate because they want to defeat the Dark Knights. And here what happens next is the badass stuff, man. A good tease, a critical step in their involvement and why this is a must read tie-in. We get to see cage matches, Aquaman versus the Drowned, we got Green Lantern versus Dawnbreaker and all of the Justice Leaguers versus their twisted counterparts, which is amazing. A cage match? Come on man, get hyped. And this really cool scene with the Flash, he gets knocked down, come on man, the evil motherfuckers, they're too, they're too strong for the Flash and he gets knocked down. This is where we get this amazing sequence of visions. They're visions of different worlds, realities, or events that never happened or will happen or I don't know. He witnesses various versions of himself, mirror selves who I think inhabit the dark multiverse. And the question is, what the hell is this? What does this mean for the Flash? Well, we know the first vision Barry sees is a reality where he was much older. You know, like Ben 10, people are making memes of Flash 10 million, Ben 10 million. He's almost like Jay Garrick, really old. He is bearded, he's grizzled, and his costume is just a simple t-shirt that has a flash emblem. He's holding a dying woman in his arms, which I think is Iris West, cause come on man, it's the same age, and it's a woman that he clearly has uh, feelings for, or maybe loves, maybe it's Iris. I don't know. The next one is Barry joining the ranks of the rogues. He is the reverse flash in this one. He is shaking Captain Cold's hand, man. He's unmasked and this version of the reverse flash doesn't have the white hair Eobard Thawne usually has, but he has the blonde hair, so Barry. So this means in whichever reality this is from, Barry Allen is the guy under the yellow cow. This might mean it's like an opposite world. Maybe Thawne is the Flash in this world. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of cool, man. The next one is that Barry sees himself defeated. He's at the mercy of this villain, Godspeed. Godspeed, it's a new villain from the pages of the, of the Flash Rebirth. And it's weird because this is a panel taken directly from the series, which this might be Barry's own past, or maybe another world where Godspeed gets the upper hand and beats Barry, kills, kills Barry or something like that. And this is kind of tricky because Williamson, the writer here, he co-wrote Godspeed. So, huh. The fourth vision is him crying over the dead bodies of both versions of Wally West. We got the pre-Flashpoint and the New 52. The, all the three characters are wearing their current Rebirth costumes. So this might be another reality, but maybe Williamson is planting the seeds for this future storyline, the Flash War. That's probably gonna be an outcome of the story. And of course, the biggest, the biggest shock, man, for me, was this amazing panel showing the anti-monitor flash. He's just 
fucking up the multiverse. This guy appears to be gigantic, just like the Anti-Monitor. He's wearing the outfit that is almost the same as the Anti-Monitor. It's complete with the blue armor plate and the yellow tubing. The Flash emblem says that it's pretty much very Barry Allen and he's just mashing multiple Earths together. Crazy alternate reality that I want to see what's up with that, man. What, what the hell is going on? Give me, give me some more. That looks really cool. Amazing visions, man. All of this shit is just from those short pages. That that page it was amazing. Really cool tie-in. One of my favorite of all times. This is how, this is how you do a fucking tie-in, man. I loved it, and I'm ready for more Dark Knights versus Justice League action. Give me more cage matches. Thanks for watching my review and my analysis of these visions. I am Amo Acebo. If you enjoyed, please click the like button. Share the video with some friends. Be sure to check out my Thor week videos every day, a Thor related video. I'm gonna be uploading my favorite villains, my favorite Thor villains tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Follow me on my social media, Twitter, Instagram. Subscribe to see more, and of course, I'll see you in the next one.